my ninjas, my ninjas, my ninjas. Yeah. Well, go on. Yo, listen, man. 2021. Shit, ninjas. This shit. Yo, last year, I quieted down. I just fell back. I relaxed. I said, man, let me see what's going on in the world. But ninjas, I got to give y'all this news, man. This shit going crazy, man. Let's just check this out. This joker just got out of jail. Look, Philly is going hard. 20-year-old Rodney Grove killed outside Philadelphia prison, shot to death one hour after being released. Check the story. Now at noon after being behind bars, a man is released and then shot to death on the prison grounds. Good afternoon to you. I'm Janelle Burrell. And I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS and Philly. Police say the man was at a bus stop and ran back to the prison grounds where he was shot to death. Our Dan Koob is live at Curran uh, Fromholds Correctional Facility in Holmesburg with the details. Good afternoon, Dan. Jim, there are so many unanswered questions, but here's what we do know for now, which is Prison Commissioner Lance Carney telling us that 20-year-old inmate, just 47 minutes after being released from prison, shot and killed on the prison grounds. He has been identified as 20-year-old Rodney Hargrove of Philadelphia, most likely a Germantown area, was released around 1.10 a.m. this morning, posting bail after spending a week behind bars for several charges, which included theft and gun-related charges. Now, according to the prison, Hargrove was waiting for family to pick him up at a SEPTA bus station about three-quarters of a mile down the street here on State Road from the current Fromhold Correctional Facility, where inmates who have just been released are typically dropped off. At that point, a dark-colored vehicle approached the man who ran back onto prison property and through a security gate. The prison says the car was able to advance past that security gate where they shot Hargrove at least ten times. Why that gate was up is unclear, and the prison says they are currently investigating. They say a guard was... Whoa, whoa. He was at the... Whoa. 47 minutes. He was released, dropped off. He goes to the bus station. He's waiting for his peoples to come pick him up. Prison. They say in prison, but it seems that in Philadelphia, the prisons also has... Um, hold on to people waiting for bail like you've just been arrested and you might got a bond or something like that because normally prisons are for those who've already been sentenced but if they let people out that means that they hold people there too you know Philly different I guess but he was at the bus station ran a quarter mile back to the prison ran back to the prison ran on the private prison grounds whoever killed them Drove on the prison grounds and shot him 10 times. Yo, whatever he did to somebody, man, they wanted him. Because, yo, listen, man, that's a lot of... Yo, you're going through a lot to drive on to a prison ground to kill somebody. Shoot him 10 times and then leave. Hey, listen, let's just, let's, let's wrap the rest of this story up, ninjas. And we out. On duty at the time and that the arm is opened manually. It's raised by the correctional officer assigned to that post, and for whatever reason, the officer raised it, and at the time of the pursuit, the officer, the vehicle was able to proceed through that raised arm. We're surveilling um, our, uh, our video, if we have any, and we'll cooperate fully with the police. If we determine that there is video, we'll share it. Now, there is no video from that SEPTA bus station, so the only reliable information they have on suspects right now is any video that they're able to unearth from prison property. That's the latest here from Northeast Philadelphia. Yeah. CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Dan, thanks for that update. Meanwhile. Wow. Yo, man, that's how this shit go down out there in Philly, man. They going hard in the paint. And I hate seeing reporters. He out there with no fucking body around with a damn mask on. That's just as goofy as can be goofy they want to scare you that's a scare tactic right there uh we're going to take note of all reporters standing by themselves 10 15 feet away from any and everybody with a mask on understand that that's they they push it uh sentiment on you to the public with that being said ninjas like hate comment subscribe ninjas we out